and you know what it hit me that what would scare me the most is me not going for what i truly wanted to do in life out of fear cheers what's good it's i winnie buency welcome or welcome back to this channel i hope you're all doing amazingly well just like i am please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every single time that i upload so that you don't miss any videos of mine now today's video is a little bit a little bit different to my usual stuff but i thought i would share this because i feel that we're still going through this pandemic a lot of people may be able to relate etc so why not so basically in 2019 i got a new job and it was my first full-time role that wasn't in retail so i had been working in retail for approximately about 10 11 years alongside my studies and other things and i had now finally got this role the role itself yeah wasn't that great could be better but the people that i worked with just made it so much livelier because there were so many people from different backgrounds all different ages different walks of life but all of their personalities were chef kiss fast forward to 2020 march 2020 obviously this pandemic took effect and then we had to start working from home so i was working from home doing this role and it was cool it was fine i enjoyed what i was doing it wasn't a problem unfortunately it got to about june 2020 and then we were alerted that due to this pandemic the company would have to get rid of a lot of people that were working via an agency so i wasn't working directly with this company but i was working with this company through an agency and that agency basically could no longer afford to keep us on because of everything that was happening i think early july 2020 i was given a two weeks notice to basically let me know that by the end of july i would not be kept on so i was really upset by that because but prior to that role i had been working as a runner in a tv company and that was a zero hour contract so i had gone from that to now working for this company and you know it was steady income i liked my colleagues i enjoyed what i was doing etc etc so that happened and then those that were following me or if you've been following me for a long time you may or may not know that's when i kind of decided to do things like a staycation here because of the pandemic and then when certain countries had given the uk a green light i decided to go to milan and then i think i came back to the uk and then i did berlin shortly after and then in september 2020 i had a job interview with a different company i successfully passed the interview stages because there was three stages that i had to go through and then i was due to start work in october 2020 so in october 2020 i started and you know i was very shocked that there was a six month probation period now in most roles that i've been in and there's always been you know minimum about a month probation maximum maybe three months but six months was a bit of a stretch so anyway did the training joined a place that we called an academy where people learn and stuff and then obviously this pandemic took her a, a toll again and then in about january 2021 i started working from home instead of going into the office it was interesting having to adjust and all of that my workplace had given me a laptop so you know i was doing what i had to do this role was exceptionally tedious the money was a lot better than what i was previously on but in terms of the level of tediousness and how much i hated the actual role absolutely flipping hated it i hated that job so much however it was a customer service based role and i still made it my thing to always go the extra mile and treat customers how i would want to be treated because i thought it was a contact center role and don't you just hate it when you have an issue with a company and you call them up and then the person on the other end just sounds like they don't give a shit so i always used to make sure that you know what even though i flipping hated that job and i really hated 
waking up early in the morning to get ready to sit right here by this desk and do a role that I absolutely hated which involved talking to customers back to back I mean on average per day I could easily say I spoke to about anywhere between 40 to 50 customers per day and with this role you were penalized if for example you were taking too much personal breaks taking too much new breaks amongst many other things my six month probation period was meant to be in april 2021 however about two weeks before april was about to approach on a Monday, I got an email from my supervisor to let me know that, oh, you know, the manager basically wants to do your six month probation meeting in two days time. And panic, I was like, what the hell? On that, the same Monday when I received the, the email, I had a coaching session because we used to have a coaching session every week with our supervisors just to see how we were getting on, just to listen to phone calls that we were having with our customers to see what we did good and what we could improve on and what not and on that particular monday i asked my supervisor i said i find it very strange that you know a whole two weeks before my six months is up i'm now being told basically last minute that actually i'm gonna have my probation meeting and she was like there's nothing to worry about you know if there was anything wrong we would have given you a heads up we don't get rid of people just like that etc etc this meeting came guys it was, and it was on google hangout so it, it was a virtual meeting and this meeting was with a manager that is not my usual manager. I hadn't even even seen this this particular manager in person before, but that's neither here nor there. Long story cut short, they informed me that they were not going to keep me on. In that moment in time, whilst they were giving me their reasons and all of that, which I'm not going to get into because I'm going to be very blunt with you, it was unfair dismissal. However, this year, I've got into the habit of writing my thoughts and feelings and goals and things that I want to achieve because I believe in the power of manifestation. But I believe that with manifestation, rather than just having it in your head what you want to achieve, you actually writing it down and doing things like creating vision boards, which I have, etc., helps to bring your vision to life. As well as you obviously putting in the work to achieving what it is that you want to achieve. So as they were telling me this, I was just remembering that in all of my notepads i've got about three notepads i had written that by the end of 2021 i want to be a full-time content creator and i was going to leave that company now although this wasn't my choice to leave the company and they were in fact getting rid of me i saw this as an opportunity for me to fully go for everything that i want to achieve this year i felt so free the best way for me to describe how i felt is i felt as if i had just been freed from prison when they told me that they weren't keeping me on i felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders now most people would have been in that scenario where we are currently going through this pandemic and a lot of people are losing their jobs their livelihoods a lot of people have got to take fam care of family they've got bills to pay etc etc and have now got to be worried about them being let go of of work a lot of people would have panicked in that moment in time i felt relieved it did come across my mind like shit how am i gonna pay my rent because although i live at home at the time i was paying half of the rent but apart from that i was like this is the universe's way of basically telling me to just go for it i remember after that meeting i you know logged out i messaged one of my colleagues and i was like yeah i'm no longer working here anymore like this is my number let's keep in contact and i shut the laptop i put the laptop in its case and i just flung on my camera and i continued filming content and you know what i didn't even let my parents know what happened until that weekend and i sat them down and i let them know now the reason why i wanted to share this story is because depending on your location we're all still going through this pandemic it could be that maybe you two have lost your job or you're aware that you're soon going to be let go of work and i'm simply here just to say yes this may be daunting yes this may be stressful but best believe what you're going through is not going to last a long time there are better opportunities that are ahead of you and i would advise for you to use this time to basically work out and figure out what do you want out of life what do you want to do what are your interests because chances are 
a lot of us work in jobs that we hate that are unfulfilling don't do anything for us in any shape or form because we need the income however this might be the opportunity for you to kind of actually figure out well what do you want to do is it that you want to change career paths is it that maybe you dropped out of college or university and you would actually like to get back in education is it that maybe you fell pregnant at a young age so you couldn't continue your education back then but maybe your child is of a certain age now where it would be easier for you to get back into education this is basically the time for you to work out what do you want to do in life what do you want to achieve in life what is your goal in life because when this happened i was thinking a lot about this and i had a lot of mixed emotions about what was going on i feel like to a certain extent it took me a while for me to kind of fully grasp everything that had happened because when i was safe i was let go of work i was let go of work on a wednesday that following monday i then received that my nan um back home in ghana had passed away so it got to a point where i felt like i was trying to process multiple wild things all at once but when i processed it all and especially with the passing of, of my grandmother, God bless her soul. But you know, she was 114 years old, so she, she had lived her life. She had, she had done what she had come to do. But it made me think that, God forbid, if I was on my deathbed and I was looking back on the life that I have lived, what would scare me the most? And you know what? It hit me that what would scare me the most is me not going for what i truly wanted to do in life out of fear what would scare me the most is me living what i would class as a mediocre life and living my life the same like how everybody else lives it because that is what society has defined as normal knowing full well that i have so much potential with my voice alone to touch others to inspire others to help others learn to help others achieve simply by what i say and simply by sharing my life experiences i'm now at a point in my life where i'm so confident in myself that i'm no longer feel scared to to take steer my life in a certain path and give it a goal i would rather give it a goal than quote unquote failing and it not working out and me then just trying something else than me not giving something a try because it's weird to society for me to do it or because of age or whatever other things that society has now normalized us not doing certain things because of so i say all of this just to say in less than one year i managed to be unemployed twice and I've taken what a lot of people would classify over here in the UK will say that's an L, like that's a loss but I've managed to spin that around and turn that into a W you get me? I've managed to turn that into the three letters first three letters of my name a win for me because going forward I've now taken it upon myself to be full time I'm a full-time content creator on here now and yeah this is something that is brand new and it's only something that i've now managed to be able to want to fully explore because i've always been doing this youtube thing on the side with working in roles that i don't care for and all of that but now it's like i can put all of my attention into this and and other things that i now want to do and so can you you can put attention into things that you want to do now now is the time i'm not saying that for example if you're working in a role right now like ditch that role and go and do whatever it is that you want to do right now when it may not be feasible to you because maybe you may have other commitments that i don't but i'm simply saying don't live your life in fear and being mediocre just because society has normalized that you should live a certain way. Now is the time to think about what it is that you really wanna do, what you wanna achieve in life. What brings you joy or what makes you happy? Because for me, one thing that I've learned over the past couple of years, and I've only now just deeped, I've been depressed and I've been really unhappy with a lot of things that I've been doing in my life. But now I feel so happy and I feel a great sense of inner peace. So for me, it's happiness and inner peace over any and everything. And I really hope that you watching this will also get to experience the same thing 
if you're not already doing so anyway but yeah thank you so much for watching this video until my next video take care be good